Welcome to this tutorial on how to create a rubric in Excel. Um, we're going we're gonna to start in the top left corner of the spreadsheet and work down towards the bottom right. Spreadsheets are huge and, and can handle large amounts of data. We, we're only going to use a small portion of this particular spreadsheet. The letters on the top of the spreadsheet, so let's, let's pull that up so you can take a look. Um, this is the, the rubric we're going to uh, create here for you and show you how it's, it's a nice and rich rubric. It has all the, all the facilities of Excel in it, and you'll use every piece of it in creating it. So let's, um, let's go take a look at the, the blank spreadsheet that you'll have. And, and you see here around the top, these are your columns. And then to the side here, these are your rows. And where a column intersects with a row, that's called a cell, and it's named by that intersection. So that's the cell A1. So we're going to start from the top left and work to the top right. So again, let's take a look at where we're trying to go and, and how we're going to get there. So let's look here. Top left, we see learner, then creating a rubric, and then week one in creative and so on and so forth. The rest of this is all common. This is all unique. So we're going to, we're going to type all that in, then we're going to format it later. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in learner. Then in column A1, I went ahead and I typed in learner. Um, and with a semicolon, and there are two ways to maneuver in Excel uh, using your, your keypad there. You can, you can hit tab, and what that's going to do is that's going to move you along the rows from the left to the right, um, and then the arrow button, of course, will take you back. Um, so your, your tab moves you from left to the right on the rows. Your enter button moves you up and down on the columns, so it'll move you down to, from A1 to A2, and that's what we want to do. So now that the next thing, now that we've put in Learner in A1 and A2, we're going to go ahead and put in the title of, of our spreadsheet today, and, and I'm just going to use the um, Creating a Rubric in Excel as our, as our title. So you see I typed that right in there. Go ahead and put in the data for A1 and A2. Um, thank you for watching the video. We're going to move to the rest later.